Ladies and gentlemen, welcome into my official college football bowl rankings. Yes, we're going to go ahead and rank every single bowl game, all 41, with my personal preference on the matchups I dislike the most, I like the most. We're going from worst to best, all of the bowl games. Let's get right into it. Starting with number 41, it, guys, it's 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 sad. It really is. Utah State, I still don't know how they made a bowl game, but they did, I believe they went 6-6, six and six, so we have to give them credit. And then you take a look at a team like Memphis. Memphis is just inconsistent. I'm not interested. So in my opinion, although I, let, let me just say, it really is almost a tie between the, the first responder bowl, Utah State versus Memphis, and the Lending Tree Bowl, which basically sounds like, I don't know, some budget store. Uh, it is Southern Miss versus Rice. I mean, Southern Miss, they've had a decent year. They've been solid. They can run the ball. And then you've got a team like Rice. I think Rice actually does have five wins. So they must have like really good academics or something. You get these five-win teams. They make bowls sometimes. Like legitimately, I think Rice has a losing record. So these games are very, it is tough. We will, we're going to be intrigued about the final score, but it's just, I mean, it is very hard to watch games like this. Uh, these are not good teams playing. Number 39, this is more for like the memes and stuff. It's hilarious. This pound for pound, pound for pound probably is the worst matchup uh, within the bowl season. New Mexico State having to schedule Valparaiso to get that sixth win. Uh, they are taking on Bowling Green, who... Really probably had one of the luckiest seasons. They had like a significantly negative point differential in the MAC, but still had a winning record and were able to get to the Quick Lane Bowl. I always thought the Quick Lane Bowl was um, MAC versus Big Ten, but I guess now they they branch it off. And it's funny because I was looking like three weeks before the end of the season, and the bowl prediction was Maryland versus Bowling Green. And the spread was Maryland minus 22. But I, you know, this is a better matchup. Bowling Green is one and a half point favorites. Yes, this, it would like pound for pound, this is the worst bowl. But because it's like the worst teams, it bumps it up a little bit because it's like, it's fun. Like Utah State versus Memphis just sucks. This is actually a little bit fun. So we're bumping it up a little bit. That's how that works. Number 38, Middle Tennessee State versus San Diego State. This is Christmas Eve. Why is this game being played in Hawaii, folks? Let's bring it to Antarctica. Let's bring it to somewhere in Canada. And let's make sure it's snowing during this game. If they did this every year where they went to... Listen, we're going out of you know the 48 states. Why are we going to Hawaii if it's 4th of... Or if it's um, Christmas Eve... I don't understand that. If, if we want to make it a Christmas Eve vibe, let's go to a place where it's 10 degrees and we get a blizzard and we see these guys play a three to nothing game. That's what everyone wants. It's better than going to Hawaii. That's a horrible vibe on Christmas Eve. We don't want to see Hawaii. It's 93 degrees there. Uh, so that's, and also, you know, San Diego State does not have a good offense. San Jose State versus Eastern Michigan, the Idaho Bowl. You know, I like San Jose State. I love their logo. Eastern Michigan really brings this game down for me personally. We've got Ohio versus Wyoming. A real unfortunate situation there with... This would be a fun matchup if Ohio had their starting quarterback, but they don't. And they just scored seven points with their backup quarterback in the MAC championship. Wyoming is all defense, no offense. This game's got 13-9 to written all over it. Miami of Ohio versus UAB. That's the Bahamas Bowl. You know, guys, this is going to be a shellacking. So this is the first bowl game of the season. UAB is significantly better than their record. I think they win this game 41-14. to Georgia Southern versus Buffalo. You know, evenly matched teams. Um, Georgia Southern is fun because they have a good offense but a bad defense. Buffalo, kind of your typical inconsistent MAC team. You know, it's still a lower tier bowl game. UConn versus Marshall. So Marshall, the significant favorite in this game. They've had a really good close to their season. It's going to be a very hard matchup. UConn's offense is not explosive. Marshall has a really good defense. But I did bump this one up a little bit because there is a spectacle to seeing UConn, who's just been so horrible the past five years, actually make a bowl. 
it is fun to see. You've got to respect it. Toledo versus Liberty, uh, you know, three weeks or maybe like three or four weeks ago, this would have been maybe inside the top 25. It's just Toledo's not been good at all. Liberty lost to New Mexico State by like 30 and they lost Hugh Freeze. So it just really takes this thing out of that matchup in my opinion. Moving down to 31, East Carolina versus Coastal Carolina. So, you know, East Carolina, very inconsistent team. Coastal Carolina's had a good year. Uh, I believe Grayson McCall will be playing in this game, but it just doesn't have a lot of juice for me. I mean, East Carolina lost 42-3 to to Houston. Come on. Number, speaking of Houston, number 30, we've got Houston versus Louisiana. I think Houston's going to win this game in a blowout. So that comes in at 30-29, Boise State versus North Texas. Uh, You know, a lot of these teams are similar. Like, East Carolina is very similar to North Texas. They're just not good on defense, very inconsistent. I know North Texas was in their conference championship game. They got crushed by UTSA. Boise State, they also... So this is two conference champion losers. Championship losers, Boise State losing their conference championship to... uh, Fresno State, and I think Boise State wins that game. South Alabama versus Western Kentucky. Little fun matchup. Um, the one thing I will say about this, I think Western Kentucky's start starting quarterback may have entered the portal. If he's not playing in this game, this would get moved down to like 37th, to be completely honest. South Alabama, kind of a worse version of Troy. They've got a good defense and a bad offense. That's South Alabama. Cincinnati versus Louisville in the Fenway. Guys, let me just say, I am so sick of Louisville and Louisiana. There is something about my brain. They're so similar, and I just I can't, I, uh, I can't do it anymore with them. It's Louisville, Cincinnati. Um, really, you know, Luke Fickle, that situation. It's so unfortunate. All those kids in the portal takes the sting out of this game. Um, So I got to put that at 27. Duke versus UCF. I think UCF wins this game as long as they're healthy. Uh, You know, it's a mediocre bowl game. I I give Duke football credit for coming back. There's an argument you can make that Duke was actually the worst Power 5 team last year. And with Riley Leonard, the dual threat quarterback, they've been better. Credit to them. Missouri versus Wake Forest comes in at 25. It's your average bowl. I actually think Missouri wins in an upset. Wake Forest can't run the ball and they can't play defense. 24, Syracuse versus Minnesota, the pinstripe. Minnesota is going to simply outclass Syracuse in this game. They're going to win. They're going to cover the seven-point spread. They've got a phenomenal running game. Although, I don't know, is their running back even going to play? I I don't know. Uh, Maryland versus NC State, the, the Dukes Mayo Bowl. So kind of a contrast here in styles. NC State, defensive-minded. Maryland, offense. Tua's brother, the receivers. They've got some good skill position players. That'll be a fun little matchup. So kind of a mid-tier bowl game. Texas Tech versus Ole Miss. They've got Lane Kiffin coming back. There's probably some juice within that Ole Miss program to win this game. And then Texas Tech, kind of a fun team, uh, you know, in terms of them scoring a lot, also allowing a lot. That last game of their regular season against Oklahoma, I think it was like 44-41 to or something like that. So they, they can be a fun team. That's a mid-tier bowl in my opinion. BYU versus SMU, offensive explosion in this one. Uh, you know, they don't play defense. It should be fun. Uh, I think the over-under in that game is 74, and I would say take the over pretty easily, unless there's guys that opt out. Uh, Florida versus Oregon State, so I had to move this down with Anthony Richardson not playing. It's such a shame because I really think Florida was playing better at the end of the season. They really hung in there against a good FSU team in that rivalry game. You know, Oregon State, kind of a fraud in my opinion. They beat Oregon, but it was a very fluky win. Uh, But guys, obviously, with Anthony Richardson not playing, opting out to go to the NFL draft, it's, you know, Oregon State's going to win that game very likely. It's a 10-point spread. Uh, Wisconsin versus Oklahoma State. So this will be a good little fun thing to look at. Definitely conference bragging rights. I would expect Wisconsin to win this game, but they are dealing with a few transfers. um, And also, they have some more juice in their program. Oklahoma State also dealing with a transfer. Their starting quarterback hit the portal So I think Wisconsin wins that game. Honestly, uh, Pittsburgh versus UCLA, that's the Sun Bowl. I love UCLA's offense. Chip Kelly, 
He's a, a phenomenal, phenomenal coach. So I think UCLA is going to win the game, and it's always good to see their offense in DTR play. Um, Kentucky versus Iowa. So just, you know, obviously this one, very low scoring. If Will Levis doesn't play, honestly, I kind of hope he doesn't because I want to see the over-under under 30. <laughs> right now, it, the last time I checked, it was 31 and a half. I'm guessing it got bet up because it's a ridiculously low number. But if Will Levis doesn't play, I'm actually going to move this game inside the top 10 and, and hope it's a 6-3 to three game and bet the under. Bet the under 29 and a half. <laughs> If Will Levis doesn't play, I wonder what would happen to it. Fresno State versus Washington State, the LA Bowl. Very fun game. Cool matchup. Everyone should be playing. I think Fresno State wins this game. Uh, Arkansas versus Kansas. Another fun matchup. KJ Jefferson returning. He'll be playing in this game. Kansas possibly getting their starting quarterback back. They're finally making a bowl. And it's a decent bowl. Uh, so, fun matchup there. Higher scoring game for sure. Air Force and Baylor. Guys, Air Force is a good team, and Baylor is way better than, than their record if you look at the advanced numbers. Really like that uh, matchup. LSU versus Purdue. So, I believe the Citrus Bowl is actually like the best bowl outside of the, the top New Year Six. And apparently, if the Rose Bowl you know, didn't want to be a part of the new playoff format, the Citrus Bowl would have been a New Year Six Bowl. I like that. I love the Citrus Bowl, like the name of it. It just, it sounds impactful. It sounds presidential. The Citrus Bowl. My thought is they replace, replace the Peach Bowl with the Citrus Bowl. The Peach Bowl sounds like a lower tier bowl. The Citrus Bowl sounds like a New Year's Six Bowl. That's my opinion. But guys, the Citrus Bowl this year, it gets totally screwed they have to take the uh, Big Ten West champion. So they take Purdue. And Purdue's going to get annihilated, in my opinion, by LSU as long as all their players are playing. Illinois versus Mississippi State. This was the Outback Bowl. I hate that they changed the name of it. Uh, should be a really fun matchup. Illinois, more of a complete team. As long as Chase Brown plays, they're going to win this game. It's right around to pick them right now. It's a really good game. Contrast, but Illinois is complete. Mississippi State is not. L11, Florida State versus Oklahoma. Fun matchup. Florida State should definitely win. They're the better team. But Oklahoma has significant offensive talent. Uh, so we will see there as long as everyone plays. Oregon versus North Carolina in the Holiday Bowl. Tons of offense. Tons of tons of offense in that one. Uh, you've got UTSA versus Troy. So this is like the second bowl game of the season. Uh, you know, there's multiple reasons why it's going to be really fun. They're both 11-2. and two. They're both ranked. No kids should be sitting out. And, and there's a lot of bragging rights in terms of group of five on the line with, with a game like this. I think UTSA wins it. They're one and a half point favorites. I think their offense is way better. Notre Dame versus South Carolina. So yes, uh, you know, Notre Dame finishing the season with that loss, but they still... Had a good year after, you know, the Marshall debacle, losing to Stanford. They rebounded. South Carolina, one of the hottest teams in college football right now. Notre Dame listed as four-point favorites. Number seven, Tulane versus USC in the Cotton Bowl. So I guess, you know, this is a New Year's Six game I'm putting outside of my top six. It's really nothing against either of these teams. I just feel like the Bulls going to be a little bit of a dud. It's a one o'clock game. Um, and I think it's 12 o'clock local time. Number six, Washington versus Texas. It should be really fun, even without Bijan Robinson. You know, very high scoring. Washington, three point underdogs. They've got a huge chance with a massive aerial assault. A lot of points in that game. Alabama versus Kansas State in the Sugar Bowl. So uh, it's just an issue with Alabama. Bryce Young probably sitting out. Will Anderson probably sitting out. It kind of takes away from it, but it still is Alabama. And imagine if Bama, even with their backups, if they lost to Kansas State, it still does mean something for Kansas State. Clemson versus Tennessee in the Orange Bowl. It's an orange out in the Orange Bowl, and this is a fun matchup. There is a little bit of a concern within the Clemson program. There's rumors surrounding a mass exodus via the, via the transfer portal. We're going to watch for that. But Clemson's got the young five-star true freshman quarterback who played so well in the ACC Championship. Tennessee making a New Year's Six Bowl. There's so much hype, even without Hendon Hooker. Fun matchup in that one. 
Uh, number three, Penn State versus Utah. Just two really, really good football teams. Uh, and the Rose Bowl, it's always fun. You got the beautiful sunset. You've got the great vibe. And Penn State, the last Rose Bowl they played versus USC was phenomenal. U- Again, Utah, really good team coming off that massive win over USC. And that game should be extremely level, although there are some players for Penn State that might be sitting out. And then, guys, when it comes to my top two, I do have to go with both of the playoff games because they do involve national championship you know, implications. Those are the games I'm going to be, be, be obviously most interested in. Number two, we're going with TCU versus Michigan. For, you know, clear reasons, I think that's the number two game. Uh, you know, TCU, great season. Michigan is the solid favorite in this one, though. I think Michigan wins and covers, in my opinion. And then Ohio State versus Georgia. This is the most talented matchup of the bowl season. It will be the highest rated game out of all of these. I would be shocked if anything pa- uh, beat it. It is the primetime 8 o'clock window uh, in the Peach Bowl. So uh, those are my all of my top rankings. And So guys, those are my official rankings, worst to best, 41 to number one in terms of this upcoming bowl season for 2022 slash 2023. Make sure you're following me on Twitter. Link to that's always in the description. I'm, of course, the Depressed Ginger. Thank you for watching.